Hey, this is Toby. So with this video, I want to start a new small project here on our channel, a pattern recognition EA. I think this will be pretty interesting. Um, right now, I don't know if this EA will have potential, if it will be a good strategy or not. But I think the idea and the concept is pretty interesting. And yeah, I want to explore this for my own trading. So I just thought, why not make some videos for you guys so you can follow along and also learn some new stuff um, with MQL5. Now, before we start coding, I want to explain the concept or the strategy idea for this EA. So this will be a little bit different from all the EAs we did on the channel. We will not use any indicators, but we will read a pattern or a price series from a CSV file into our EA. And then we will check the most recent bars and check the correlation of the most recent bars with that price pattern. And if the correlation is high enough, we can take some action, set some pending orders with stop loss and take profit. Okay, so let me just draw something on the chart so it's easier to understand. So let's say our pattern in our CSV file looks maybe like a W, like this. And now we want to check if this pattern here appears in the live market. And we also set maybe some rules for that pattern. So for example, we want to set, let's make this green, a buy limit here. If this pattern appears, we want to set a buy limit below the pattern and maybe a sell limit above. And let's assume the most recent bar here in a live market is maybe this one here. Um, so now we can see the most recent bars, they also look like a W, like our pattern. So for this, the correlation will be pretty high. And now at this point here, we will set a buy limit here below our pattern. And we will get a buy entry, of course, here. Of course, this is a perfect example, but um, yeah, that's the basic idea of that EA. So the first step would be to write the pattern we are looking for in the live market into a CSV file. So let's switch to the editor and we start coding. So I will use Visual Studio Code to create this EA. You can also use the default meter editor. If you want to know how to set up Visual Studio Code for MQL5, I already made a video about this. I will link it up here. And now to create the file, I will switch to the default meter editor because then we have a template with some predefined functions. So let's go to the trading platform, open the default meta editor, and here in the expert folder on the YouTube, I will right click and create a new file. Expert advisor template, next. Now the name, let's name this EA pattern recognition EA. Um, yeah, for the copyright, I will just write trust for trading and also my website.com. Okay, next, um, next, finish. So now we have already the copyright here and the link property. Um, I will switch back to Visual Studio Code now. First of all, I will save here and close this editor now. And in Visual Studio Code, we should see the file. Um, it's right here. And first of all, I want to clean up the template a little bit. So I don't need all these comments here. I just want to write a comment here for properties. And close this comment section here. Like this. Then we have the, uh, the copyright, the link, the version. And yeah, next, I want to move these brackets here, the curly brackets, um, after the name of the function and delete the comment here. Move this to the left. Some space here, some space here. That's just personal preference. Um, yeah. How you like to style your code basically and i will also delete 
the last line here. Okay. Let's save this file and let's also compile. Make sure you don't have any mistakes. And now we can do the next comment section, which is for the include files. So I will copy this properties here, paste it here, change this to includes. And here we want to include the C trade class for all the trade operations later and also the position info class. So let's write hashtag include here and the path is trade and then slash trade.mqh. And the second one is include also trade and slash, I think it's position info dot mqh. Okay, let's compile again. Perfect. Next uh, comment section will be for the inputs of the A. So I will just copy this here again, paste it, change this to inputs. And so the first inputs, um, let's maybe create a group here so we can write input and then group and let's just add a divider here a few equal signs and just general like this so this is our first group and here we just have some general inputs for the magic number so of type u long and let's call this input magic number um, we also set a default value, just a random number, and we add a comment here, magic number. Next one here in the general group is for the lot size. So of type double input uh, lots, and also a predefined value of 0 0.01. So the smallest lot size, and we add a comment here, lot size. Um, let's align this. Like this. Let's compile. Make sure you don't have any mistakes. And yeah, that's it for the input section for now. And I just saw that I messed up here my link to my website. Trust full trading. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at the on init function. So this function here is called when we start the A, when we load the A on a chart um, to initialize parameters of the A, um, that's what we do in the on init function. So in here, as I said, the first step is to load the pattern from the CSV file into our EA. But before we do this, I want to create the file uh, so we can see the format and everything. So for this, I will go to the MetaTrader 5 platform and here I will open the symbol list, control U. And let's say we use Euro dollar as an example here. So I will go to the bar tab, uh, select Euro dollar here, maybe five minutes and select a short time window here. So if I click request now, I only have a few bars here. So let's say this is our pattern. We want to save into a CSV file. So for this, I can just click here on export bars and yeah i will save this first of all on the desktop and name it just pattern.csv and csv always stands for comma separated values um, it's pretty common if you work with price data uh, let's save this on my desktop and we can close the symbols list now and let's see we have a csv file here if i open this we can see the data so this is our pattern we have date time open high low close tick volume volume and spread i think we only need the close prices here um but yeah it's just pretty convenient to do this from the metatrader 5 platform if you want to use a new search pattern. We can just look at a chart and then get the data into a CSV file like this. And I also want to move this into the 
mql5 sandbox because it's not that easy to access files outside of the mql5 sandbox so i will cut this here go to the metadata 5 platform and open the data folder and here i will just go to the mql5 folder here to the files folder and paste it here i already have a file called pattern csv file here so i've just replaced it and i can see the file is now here and this is the pattern we use to search um, for new patterns or for a high correlation in the live market so let's close this window and now we can go to the code again and now the first step is to read the csv file and get all the close prices of that file into our ea okay so let's create an array where we can store our close prices from the csv file for this i will create a new comment section here after the inputs um, and i will just call this global variables this and here we declare a double array called pattern it's a dynamic array because we don't know the number of bars yet um, okay and now in down in it we will write a function call maybe inside a if statement here so if um, load pattern fails we also want to return in it failed here and let's also add a comment here um, load pattern from csv file into global pattern array so that's what this function is for. So let's write this function. And I also want to change the tab size here to three, not two spaces. Um, so let me change this real quick. Settings, tab size. Okay, it's already at three here in the workspace two. Okay, I don't want that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's better. One, two, three. Okay, sorry for that. Um, so let's um, write this function here. First of all, let's align this. This and let's write this load pattern function. For this, I will copy a comment section, and I will go here after the on tick. And change this comment to custom functions. And here we will write our load pattern function. So the return type is Boolean load pattern for the name. No parameters. We open the body here and in the end we return true. Now we should be able to compile without any mistakes. Okay, so let's also add a comment here above the function name. Um, yeah, let's just say load price pattern from CSV file into global pattern array. And first of all, we want to open the CSV file, of course. So we can use the file open function. For this, we need a handle type integer. So file. Um, File open here we need to specify the file name uh, maybe for the file name yeah right now we can just write pattern.csv later we want to have a input for this maybe openflex is of course file read um, also another flag file ansi or NZ for the format and file CSV. 
uh, but I think I have to separate them by a pipe file underscore csv it's not a comma here a pipe sign and in the end we also or we can specify the delimiter um, I think by default it's it's a tab which is the case with our file um, but let's specify this here apostrophe and I think it's slash backslash t for tab and a semicolon so let's hit compile uh, make sure you don't have any mistakes so this should open our file next step is to check if this call here was successful so we can write a simple if statement and check if our handle if this is equal to a invalid handle we can write a error message for the user maybe alert and let's say failed to open csv file and we also return false for our load pattern function here okay let's hit compile again no mistakes perfect okay so now we already opened the file here and i will show you how to read the content of the cc file in the next part i don't want to make this video too long and i have a meeting in a few minutes so if you're interested in learning mql5 on your own um, check out my two programming courses on my website alpha and also the beta programming course i think it's pretty good value if you want to learn mql5 if you want to create your own eas and get serious into algo trading otherwise i wish you a great week good trades and i will see you in the next part where we continue to code the ca okay bye bye